third diagram into conic sections. We started off with circle, then we saw parabola, and now it's time to study about ellipse. We'll get to know about ellipse and its standard equations. First of all, let's try to see what is an ellipse. Looks like this. Don't worry, I'll try to make it as simple as possible. Again, as we know, any diagram is set of points. In this ellipse, we have millions and trillions of points putting together, giving it this shape. Looks like a circle which has been stretched on two sides, two opposite sides, and becomes a ellipse. It has two focus, or we call it, it has two foci. Plural of focus, it has two focus. Now, same as in parabola, an ellipse, you take some random points. Again, I have taken three points, P1, P2, P3. This point, this point, this point. You are free to take as many as points you want to take. Just for calculation purpose, or keep it simple, I have taken three points. This would be enough to make you understand. Now, what it says here is, you take some random points, and then connect those points to both the focus. P1, P2, P3. P1 connected to F1, F2, P2 connected to F1, F2, P3 also connected to F1, F2. Now, what we have to learn here is, the arrangement of ellipse is something like this, wherein any points on the ellipse, if you measure the distance P1 to F1, P1 to F2, if you add these two distances, P1 to F1 plus P1 to F2. That will be equal to the other point P2 to F1 plus P2 to F2. Same thing will happen to P3 to F1 plus P3 to F2. What I am trying to say here is any points on the ellipse like P1 Distance of P1 to F1 will be P1 F1 plus P1 F2. Sum of these two distances will be equal to this point, random point P2 F1 plus P2 F2 will be equal to other points like P3 F1 plus P3 F2. This is what ellipse has a basic understanding. Now let's get into a little bit of more details. Line segment joining F1, this focus, and F2. Midpoint of this line is the center of the axis. AB from A to B going through focus will be our major axis. And this line perpendicular to the center CD will be my minor axis. So AB here, the bigger one is major, CD, the smaller one will be minor. Both these lines going through the center, cutting each other at 90 degrees angle. Major axis going through the focus. End points of Major axis is called vertex. This one here, same ellipse, distance from F1 to F2 means distance from this focus to this focus. We split this into two halves. Each half is called C. Means F1 to F2 is 2C. F1 to O is C. F2 to O is C. Center to F1 is C. Center to F2 is also C. Equal. Putting together F1 to F2 or F1 F2 is 2C. Now, likewise, minor axis. Center is again splitting this into two equal halves. Each half we take as B. Means minor axis is 2B. I write it 2B. Minor axis is 2B. F1, F2, 
2c minor axis, 2b major axis is 2a. Half of major axis at the center, a. Second half is also a. So, now you see major axis, 2a, minor axis, 2b, distance from first focus to other focus is 2c. And they all are split into two equal halves. Major axis also splitting from the center, a, a. Minor axis splitting from the center, b, b. Same with focus, distance from focus to focus is 2c, splitting in the center, c, c. This is the basic understanding of ellipse. Now it's time to get into the equations. Same as what we studied into circles and then into parabola. Ellipse also has its standard equations. 